Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Keeping Up with Coins. So today we will be exploring this 20 Kwanza coin from Angola. So Angola is an African country located in southern western part of Africa. Uh, this country was a colony of uh, Portugal till 1975, and they have got their independence. And after that, they started issuing this uh, currency called Kwanza. So this coin is not actually using in Angola anymore because they have started using a uh, like a new version of the Kwanza known as second Kwanza now so this is the uh, version that existed between 1977 to 1990 in Angola so this was actually a standard circulation coin in Angola and as you can see uh, this coin is made of uh, copper nickel metal so this coin is having a diameter of around uh, 29.1 millimeter and is having a thickness of uh, around 1.9 millimeters so this coin is also having a metal alignment uh, I have explained what metal alignment in my previous videos so as you can see this coin is also having a metal alignment what I like about this coin is that the uh, pictures that is engraved in this particular coin has a lot of meaning and association in relation to the uh, concept of how the Angola as a country is looking about its nature so this coin in its uh, over side uh, there is this national coat of arms of Angola so let's closely examine what does this coat of arms of Angola means as you can see uh, so there is a star here uh, so this star which is representing the socialistic movement um, that the Angola people are like believing in so they are having a very Marxist and socialistic idea involved in their culture and the way the political things are uh, seen there so that uh, particular idea is being engraved through their coat of arms and this star is representing that and the revolution that they have made against the Portugals for independence is shown by this symbol in the middle so there is a knife like uh, things image there that thing is called a machete and there is a hoe uh, there and you can see behind that there is a sun coming up so that's actually a symbol showing a new beginning and there below that the education is being represented by a book so they see that education is very important for the development of society and everything so uh, on the round of that like around that you can see in this side they are showing the industrial development that has to be followed and here the agriculture so they are saying through this uh, coat of arm that both industry and agriculture is necessary for the development of the nation and uh, in this there is uh, a combination of uh, maize coffee and cotton like you can if you're like watching it closely you can see that this is a combination of maize coffee and cotton one of like three of the most important agricultural products of um, Angola now if you're like looking on the outer side of that particular uh, Thing. like in the outer side of uh, the uh, coin you can see that uh, there is written 11 de November 1975 which is the uh, date of independence of Angola and in the bottom you can see that it is like uh, written RP de Angola which is the Republic of Angola so this is also written in the downward banner in given here you can see that clearly here also it is written on the other side of that there is a uh, dotted uh, yeah it's a dotted uh, image given on the uh, round there is a dotted uh, pattern given on the outward side and there there is written 20 in like very large letters and below that it's written Kwanzaa's and the year of minting 1978 so this is an interesting coin from the uh, uh, my African collection and do let me know if you also have this coin in your collection so I think by this I will end today's video if you like this kind of information do let me know through the comments and if you want to know about any specific coin through in my collection do let me know through the comments also do check out my Instagram page as given here where I will show my uh, interesting collection every day so till meeting with a new video Tata. Bye bye.